So before I moved into my car, I bought this really cool solar panel and battery pack. It's a super practical purchase. It's gonna be really useful when I have to charge my batteries and my laptop and everything on the road. But since I just got it, I wanna test it out and see what it's capable of. So today I'm gonna to make the most over the top, ostentatious, unnecessary camping setup possible. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm in the tent. First thing I'm noticing, it's a little stuffy in here, you know, just kind of warm and I feel like I could use some airflow. So uh, let's get a fan going. Yeah, this is nice. Every tent needs one of these. Okay, so the fan's helping, but you know, I'm in Colorado, it's high altitude, kind of dry out here. I feel like, I feel like my throat's just a little like, ah, eh, just like, you know, dry. We really got to get a humidifier in here. Does it seem dark in here? This is pretty good, but I don't know if it really did the trick. Yeah, I feel like that adds a lot to the ambiance. All right, well, now that I can actually stand to be in this tent, um, I feel like I need a kitchen because I'm pretty hungry and I haven't eaten in a while. So uh, let's get some food going. Okay, so in the kitchen, we have this little water boiler, which I'll use to make oatmeal. And then I have a blender, which I'll be using to make a smoothie. So I've never actually made a smoothie before, but I think I know the general concept. I have frozen berries, some vanilla milk, my protein powder, and a blender. I think that's it. You know, I've seen a lot of smoothies on like Instagram and stuff, and none of them look like this. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know, I'd drink it. It's actually, it, it's like actually good. As you guys know, boiling water when you're out camping is basically impossible, it's like, you gotta start a fire or you gotta get one of those jet boil things. That's a mess. So I have this thing. So this thing is pretty sketchy. Um, I bought it on Amazon for about 50 bucks, which is kind of pricey, but it's nice because you can plug it into your car's cigarette lighter port. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna explode and kill me one day. This water boiler is terrifying because it keeps all the pressure inside, and then when you try to open it, all the steam escapes very violently and scarily. Terrifying. So I have oatmeal in a smoothie without ever having to leave the tent. Okay, the tent's coming along pretty well. I have my lights, I have my humidifier, my fan, my kitchen. But now I'm starting to get a little bored, so we need some kind of entertainment for sure. One thing that I really like to do in my free time is draw and sketch, but unfortunately I've never been able to do it outside. It's just not possible. But now we can do it. Okay, we have the humidifier, the fan, the boiler, the blender, the Nintendo 64, the TV, my drawing tablet, and my computer.
Okay, so I got everything set up, but now it's time to put it to the test. It is nighttime, so the solar panel is no longer charging, and I invited my friend Dakota up to play video games. All it's running off of is the battery right now, and we're gonna see how long this thing can last. So he's gonna come, I'm gonna give him a little tour, and then we're gonna get started. All right, come on in. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, we got a fan in here too, golly! We got the fan, the humidifier, the kitchen. You have the water boiler and the blender. Up here, you got the disco ball <laughs> and the string lights. Um, we obviously have N64 and the TV. Yeah, so what do you think? Dude, yeah, it's like full on. If this is set up just as good as the, you know, my normal gaming setup that I have in the living room in the house. Nice. That's the stock that you want to have everybody see. Okay, we're gonna check the battery again. Okay, so we've been playing for about an hour now and the battery is still at 80% power. Okay, Dakota, what do you think? Uh, I think that this is the most things that I've ever seen in a tent uh, <laughs> that didn't have a use outside the tent. <laughs> so what do you want to do for the rest of the night? Uh, well, I mean, if it was me, I could play Super Smash Brothers for literally the rest of the night, um, but I think you might get bored of me kicking your ass. Do you want me to do another take so I don't swear? No, swearing's fine. Okay. Uh, we've been playing Super Smash Brothers for like the last two hours, so maybe we can play some cards or something? Yeah, sounds good. And is it black, or is it red, black, red, black? Yeah, and I don't think you play with jokers. Do you have a charger here for my phone? No. You have a blender, a fan, a boil machine, a humidifier, Christmas lights, disco ball, that's, hold on, disco ball, N64, television, this bright ass light, and you don't have a phone charger? I didn't think to bring one. No. Out, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Can we go find cell service? Okay, so Dakota just took off. We wrapped up for the night. We played for two or three hours. Uh, let's go do the final check to see how the battery's doing. Well, that's gonna do it for us. Um, thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a silly episode, but it was really fun to see everything that this solar panel and battery pack are capable of. Um, it's crazy that they could run all of this for such a long period of time. And I know that this is gonna be really useful when I'm on the road and out camping. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.